What is happening my beautiful people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. Now, welcome to the last episode of this pre-season. We've got two games for you, and right now I'm currently at Hearn Bay. I'm here in Seagulls and all sorts of stuff, but Hearn Bay are currently playing at our level, so it's gonna be a good test. We've been missing a number of players due to coronavirus and injury, but we've got some back tonight. Looking forward to seeing how they get on. And what a surface they've got to play on, by the way. Beautiful, the sun's out, what more could you want? So we've got this game, and we've got Binfield on Saturday. So it's Tuesday night tonight, and then we've got another game on Saturday, and you guys are gonna be seeing it all unfold. If you could have one word to describe pre-season, what would it be? Or, alternatively, who has been your player of pre-season? Well, we're gonna have a great game. <laughs> um, my player would be... Go for both. Jesse. Jesse, yeah? Mm. Shout out Jesse, you got yourself Shout the number one Jesse. fan. <laughs> Pre-season player would mm. be for me Kieran Southgate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And a word to describe pre-season? Long. Honestly. <laughs> long yeah, and Kieran just want Southgate. To start, man. Yeah. Long, yeah. Long. I mean, don't put them two together. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Hard. Come back from injury, so a lot of work's gone back into it. And a player? Well, I've been so many. This, this squad's been rotating so much, so you can't. No, you, no, you got to give me one player. Last few games, Gregory. So you think Joe Gregory's hard? What? Um. Challenging. That's the word I'll choose. I'm gonna go for the question. Brad Marriott. Brad Marriott? Mm. Nice, he'll like that. Who's your player of pre-season? Matt. The Matt well, no, you just said that because he's just there. No, generally Matt. No, no, but other than, other than he Matt. Said, he said that you're his player of pre-season. I'm Matt's, be I'm Matt's biggest fan probably. Well. <laughs> What's he saying? He said I'm his player of pre-season. Oh, well. it's a classic groupie well, decision. No, I'd, I'd probably say like that Joe. Boys. I'd probably say Joe DeBell. So one thing that we love at Hashtag United is a bit of ganter. Gantry slash banter, therefore meaning ganter. And up there we've got um, we've got Stampy going up there for the first half. And then I think I'll be going on there, uh, up there, sorry, for the second half. So Stamps, what are we saying? Is it a high one? I haven't actually turned the camera on yet. Oh, it does look sick. One thing I absolutely love about coming to these pre-season games is getting to see the fans, or if you know about hashtag and stuff like that. So obviously the turnout here is really decent, and some of them have been for a lot of the pre-season games that we've been to. So uh, hopefully this carries on throughout the season, and if you want to come to Bowers, which is in uh, Pitsy and Basildon, you can check everything you need to know down in the links in the description, keep up to date with our Twitter uh, and stuff like that. Or if there's an away game near you, you'll be able to check out on our Twitter, uh, we post a fixture list uh, and that can also be found online as well. I can put the link down in the description for you that as well. So if it's local and you want to come and watch Hashtag, make sure you come and check us out. Get to see some of these beautiful faces. Keithy, do you miss the game? Do I miss the game? Yeah, do you miss the game? Playing? Yeah. Yes. Do you reckon you can slip into the squad or not? No. No? No. Why? I've got no knee left and also <laughs> I can't run anymore. Okay. Big, but I've seen you problem. do some bits in training, you know. Yes, I'm always because it's that big. tightest. Okay. I mean, this is the biggest pitch. It is very big, seen, isn't it, today? So yeah. No chance. What clubs have you played for? Millwall. Millwall. Shocking club, by the way. Sorry, I, I'm a West Ham fan, so I'm going to say I, that. I kind of agree with you, but it is what it is. Played in the champ, but, but you played in the champ. Do you know how mad that is? That's my guy, Keys, you know. I actually think you're my favourite player right now, to be honest with yeah. you. You're, my, you're, you're personally my favourite. What happened the other week against Ch Chalfont? Was someone giving you trouble? Yeah, it's just football, aren't it? Football. It is football, that's a good response. <laughs> okay, so Stamps is obviously getting more beautiful shots right now with the uh, the big black magic camera. Uh, what should we do, Stamps? Cue the montage. I imagine I don't have any clips. That'd be pretty <laughs> awkward. But cue the montage anyway. <laughs> Most of the guys are back from COVID. We've got a couple of sore backs, George Smith and uh, Mr. Hewitt. Um, hopefully they'll clear up as quick as they came and it'll be good for next week. We'll sort them out Thursday in the training. Let's 
struggling to get into this one, I think. We're a good side. I think we're taking a bit of time to get into it ourselves, but we've had some few promising attacks, but they've looked the better side, to be fair. Excellent finish mate, teed it up nicely, outside of the foot, top readers, played with the standard charge. They've been knocking on the door for a while. Yeah, though. yeah, they've been the better side, 100%. We've just got to be a bit more ambitious mate, it's, uh, it's tough. Half chance really, but um, the defender got a good block in it, Jake Lindsay. A uh, little set from Joe Gregory and Jake Lindsay here, first time I think. Oh, Joe Gregory, most underrated player ever, as said by the lads. But honestly, I'd have probably put my ass on um, here scoring that. Oh, I like that. He tried to be too he finesse. He tried to be too clever. Do that, kids. Too clever. Kids, mate. What about say? What's happened? What? You thought you were off? Yeah. Just got I put my ass in your score. Yeah, now. Homeless now, now. Noob's got the ball, he's played it out to Kieran. Give it to the other Kieran. And Kieran's knocked it in, Joe's flipped it, and I think Lindsay, I think side volleyed it, maybe top corner or to the side of the keeper, but good goal, we're looking better this half, so let's hope we can keep it up and get another one. LP, if you're a bad man, put that in with the montages again. <laughs> right, so the last like five minutes, we've had a really good <coughs> spell of football. We're winning the ball back, we're getting behind each other. We're looking good. We could snatch a winner here if we keep this up. But the more this game goes on, the more everyone seems to be coming together, working hard for each other. So it's promising time. Let it get away from you. It's very promising. We're um, doing well. I think we can nick this one. And we've got Carlos coming on as well. Final 10 minutes. That is the sign of a man who has worked very hard today. I like that. You played brilliant. How'd you find this? Uh, I played alright. <coughs> Not the best. Start working hard. Not your best? Hey, no, if that's not his best, I'm scared. I'm scared. We're in the last like 20, 30 seconds of the game. We've got stoppage time as well, but the way that both teams are going for it now, we might see an interesting ending here. Maybe.
game was going to be interesting. We're at stoppage time. Jake Lindsay, great ball. I think it was from Aldridge. Right over to Stanley Sharp. I think it might be Crank. <laughs> Cheers, how's the game for you? First half, it was tough, you know, but second half, we were unbelievable. You know, we had boys that haven't played for a while because of Covid, but the heart we showed today was fucking like, it's all there, it's all there. No, that's good, it's good, mate. It's passion. It was good, it was so good. You know, and we should be proud of ourselves tonight because it was a great performance. How are you getting cramped at 18 and I'm 33? Me. Where is this? There he is, Jake Lindsay. He's had Rona. Well done, mate. How'd you feel? I'm buzzing, mate. Unbelievable feeling. I had really well tonight. I'm proud of you. Should be proud of you. We needed that. It's a good test. We've run out. It's like to win a game as well. It's lovely. On to the next one now. No, I feel good, mate. Honestly. But... <laughs> <laughs> That was the best performance we've played in the season. I mean, I know, I know we put we played like Coggeshaw off the park and all that was Coggeshaw. I know we played teams off the park at times, but that right there, it wasn't just the performance. It was the character to be one 0 down in front of all these people. And be yeah. Like, yeah, you know what? The fans were loud. Out. The fans were, you know, and, and oh, we yeah. have to expect that. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean like we had fans behind our goal chirping us, but you know, stuck to our guns. And next thing you know, we're two one up, and they, they have no answer. We, we battered them off the pitch. So. Well done. Look at this. Freddie's come to say hello. Met him. How many years ago was it? Four years ago at the Wembley Cup, and you're here now. Did you enjoy the game? Yes, it was interesting. Good man. And we won it right at the, right the end for you, didn't we? Yeah. Wow, what a game, man. What a second half. I think as far as pre-season games go, that's probably up there with my favourite, if not the favourite game of this pre-season, because the character that was shown uh, during that game was immense, especially in the second half. You know, there was a real togetherness. Uh, and Jake Lindsay, what a player. You know, academy winner, and we know that the academy pulls through some great players. So credit to him, credit to the team, and we go again in a few seconds against Binfield. See you in a sec. Bam, and here we are for the last game of this episode. In fact, the last game of Hashtag United pre-season. Now, we're going up against Binfield, okay? We've travelled around about two hours to get here. The rain was mental. The sun's come out, but I do think it's going to probably start raining again very soon. But it doesn't matter. Fun fact about Binfield. Uh, they've just recently got promoted into our step. And also, they got to the FA Vars final, which meant that they got to play at Wembley. Unfortunately, they were runners-up. But we played at Wembley, so have they. Should be a good test for us, but also the pitch is it's lovely. Look, listen, this is a lovely ground. Uh, they've got red and white nets. The sun's out. Nice ground. What more do you want? This is what football's about, you know. Hopefully it doesn't come down too tough the rain, but uh, yeah. Start playing some football. I call him Drippy J. Look at him. I've got the garm. Can we have <laughs> can, we, can we I'll use that? Can we have a review of the uh, the hashtag merch? Does it fit well? Does it feel good? Does it look good? It looks great. Well, there it is. Enough done. Jacko, a huge 10 minutes to get here. I think you've earned this this game. Yeah, see, everyone's come here whinging, moaning. M25, <laughs> M4, M4 shot. shot right? <laughs> I do that three times a week. So True. all that all that moaning and bleating that I do, I'm getting it times 18 today. Yeah. But no. So is this the closest game that we may have had for you or not? Uh, it is. Yes, so it's it a historic game then. I've lobbied, I've lobbied a few times to get close to games. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a nice one for me today. I, uh, I think the meet time was quarter past one. I actually left that half one. Wow. Don't tell this. <laughs> I knew everybody else was late. <laughs> but no, they're, they're a good little side. I, I did play a couple of games here on loan as well. Nice. It's a nice little club. Massive youth set up. Obviously made the Vars final last yep. year. Uh, I know a couple of boys. Good standard. Be a good test. What are we thinking, Messi? Where's he going? PSG, PSG, PSG yeah, yeah. yeah. Like seeing him in the Prem, but it ain't gonna happen. We sound about the 100 mil. Really? Grealish. English, isn't he? That's why. But is he worth more, more than like Neymar? Like, is he worth a, a good comparison? Is Sancho? It's true. What was it 73 mil for yeah. Sancho? Sancho. F football money's become. I know, free, and it's like, gonna get worse. Yeah, people say Sancho has improved himself, but Grealish has had one, one really good season. So, Tough one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hey, this haircut is actually 100% unbelievable, by the way. You're the, you for you are the UK Chris Brown. Yeah. Hey, comment below if I'm Chris Brown or if I'm <laughs> Cisco. Chris Brown, Cisco, Demolition Man, or Marlon Harewood. Do you know what you're doing or not? No. Oh, wait. I found it. Hold on. Record. Cool. 
go and record. Wait, hold on, move. I'm recording. Yeah, yeah. he's recording. Don't hit pay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm bare zoomed in. I don't know how to zoom out. <laughs> I'll just walk backwards. <laughs> He's just gonna walk backwards except zoom out. Do you Wait, know how funny that is? Oh, yeah, that was a better angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take my job. Oh, yeah, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Oh, really? That was a waste. Is it not gonna sound? <laughs> that shows how much you know, hey. <laughs> We've got some special guests yeah. on the old vlog. Yeah, well, Ali, yeah. what's going on about this weather, mate? Yeah. August, August 7th. <laughs> Don't move to England. Speedy <laughs> left back, old school. Old school. Mmm. 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 Interesting. Okay. Some big players on the bench to come off here. Yep. This is decent. Looking good. This is decent. Devs has a great one. I'm what that is. That is baby sick that was all over me yesterday. <laughs> oh. So don't let your baby be sick on you. That's my advice. But it'll come out in the wash, obviously. I just. Oh, we come over yesterday. We came up to yeah, yeah. Probably. Where is the bin? You guys must know this. Where is the bin? Because I see the field. Where's the bin? <laughs> Jay, what should we cue? Cue the montage. <laughs> I want to give an update, but all I'm seeing is Mikey's neck. <laughs> That's all I saw. Do you see it? They're, I think they've just hit the post, but I don't know. I heard it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> Good finish, Jess. Very good finish. Left foot, laces, cross goal, bottom right corner as we look at it. Page. How's Brad put it over, by the way? I don't know, I didn't see it. Bro, <laughs> like, how's he put it over the bar? Uh, I'm not Brad, sure, his head's big enough. Um, <laughs> Malcolm Meatball, Ed. Um, great run, great ball. Um, yeah, she's got, she's definitely scored. I didn't really get a good view of it, but from what I've seen, it just looks like they've done a little one-two around the corner. Matty's got caught out inside the player, and uh, he's just as he's come inside and just clipped his ankle, he's gone down, risked the pen. On for the equaliser, mate. And the hammy? Uh, yeah, just uh, see Stevie before you give it a nice rub, but um, he's just started to tighten up out there with the all-important first league game coming up next week. Didn't want to run the risk, so uh, yeah, just uh, a bit of a precaution at the moment, mate. Played by them and um, he got in behind and took him out of an overjet, didn't he? Mm. Went down in instalments to Giza. But he's so, put the pen away. Yeah, good penalty. Great run from Jake Lindsay. Tinchy Strider, we call him. Wins the pen and Gleedy just absolutely smashes it. I would not want to be in goal for that. that puts his foot through them. Sometimes I don't actually believe whether or not he knows where they're going to go. Not bad off, to be fair. As I said before, they're a good side. Um, but yeah, we've been well tested. Um, but we've given as good as we got. 
a couple of good chances. Uh, first goal was tidy, Gleedy with a pen. Uh, on the whole, I think we probably deserve it. I think we probably deserve to edge it 2-1 at half-time. Looking a bit more positive. Yeah, great ball from Gleedy. Centre that's missed it. Joe's run through. Straight at the keeper though, but we're getting better. It's probably one coming soon. Ben Lindsay was in there as well. Was it? I mean, if you score, no one's gonna be angry with you, but because he's not scored yet, you look at Lindsay back close to like Sterling and Kane against Croatia and 2018, but almost as big a game to be fair. Big switch from like their left hand side, uh, fellow run inside, Matty. He looked offside, to be fair, he took a touch. Midfielder run beyond, he just slipped him in. How did you come out trying to smother it? It's uh, slightly in the far corner. 2 2. What a team and what a goal. Off the back of obviously a corner. On the break, Kieran Southgate, what a player. Shown a bit of persistence, pace, and it's paid off. Square ball from Kiers and Harry obviously with the finish. Get in. And that's gonna be a wrap for hashtag United's pre-season episodes. Now, the next video that you guys will be seeing, you'll be very happy to see. Because I know a few people in the comments have been saying, you know, where's Josh? Where's Sam Raj? Where's this person? Where's that person? Now, what we're going to do is explain it all in a squad update video. Now, that will be on the channel on Saturday, so make sure you stay tuned and you subscribe to check it out. Now, also, make sure you check the links down in the description over to the uh, Twitter. Check the fixture list, see what games that we have coming up. Are we coming to a place near you? And also, the hashtag United merch and the Hummel kits as well, because I know people like them. We're getting a lot of messages about them. They rate them very highly, so make sure you check that out. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.